Hey YouTubers. Alright, this demonstration uh, is of a uh, our box right here. Okay, it's got an input. I know it looks like a spaghetti mess. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just a, a quick throw together. Um, so it's, it's going to look like a mess. I, I'm going to clean it up and make another video of this uh, later. But this is to show that uh, we can run a pulse motor uh, with energy. There's the this is the uh, output current running our pulse motor here, and uh, this is our input current. So I'll try to uh, describe this uh, a little bit better here. It's, it's hard to see. Yes, I know. I mean, but if you look real carefully, here's the. This is the input watt uh, voltage. This is the positive right here. And this is the negative. And it's going through a read switch. And that's the negative going into, well, our meter. And then, uh, of course, this goes to the, over here, to the negative of our device. Okay, and the positive, of course, goes right back to the positive. So our input. So we got the meter in between our input measuring input current at 59, 60, right around 59 milliamps of current. I got our voltmeter here. Ah, this is going to be uh, difficult. Let's try to put this in here. Uh, it's just going to fall off. Input voltage 12.24 volts at 59 milliamps of current. So, okay, we got our input power. Out, our output power running uh, our motor over here, a simplistic pulse motor. We got 74 milliamps coming out. This is the output voltage over here running our motor, I placed a capacitor across our voltage source over here on the output. Uh, that's the yellow wire. It's on the negative side. And on the positive side, I got connected directly to the positive to smooth out the voltage. <coughs> so let's take a look at that. Um, let's see if I can get that in there now. Very difficult. Uh, there we got the positive. It's the negative. Let's see what we got. We got 11.96 volts. Right here in this capacitor. That's powering this, basically. And, uh, and there's 74 milliamps then coming out of that capacitor and running through our pulse motor. So, uh, now... <laughs> Would you, uh, would you consider this a load? Tell me what you think in the comment box down below uh, this video. and Tell me if you think this is a real load or not. It's running off a voltage source with current running through our device here. And current... This battery is just the way down. This, if not, this thing would just be jiggling all over the place. So it's just a weight. And uh, so that's what that is. Uh, I thought I'd show that. So tell me if you consider this a load or not. Okay. And you got 60 milliamps there on the in input current. 74 milliamps on the output current. We saw the output voltage there was 11.96 volts, while the input voltage was 12.24 volts. All right, so uh, I just wanted to show that simple, quick video uh, of a pulse motor running as a load off our extra energy that we're measuring with meters. Okay, so uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next video.